our parents. From riding a bike and playing ball, to car trips on sunny Sunday afternoons, they showed us the way to a quality life. At Elder Life Financial, we help families give back to their parents the gift of a quality life in senior living communities all across America. A family calls us and often they have just come from the assisted living community and they say, you know what, we're going to need $4,000 a month. They don't necessarily really need $4,000 a month from us. They may need $4,000 a month altogether. So what we try to do here is guide them through that process so that they can figure out what do we really need. I think that when we discovered Elder Life Financial, uh, we realized that this is the type of bridge that we're looking for to get this, to give us the relief to focus on getting the house sold, getting your financial things in order, and we're paying, you know, basically we're we're allowing Elder Life to step in and make those monthly payments. We might not be able to handle the, those peaks of expenses without having to make a, a precipitous judgment, you know, and, and doing something that really wouldn't be the right thing for my mother's assets. What Elder Life gave us was that flexibility. The paperwork was relatively simple to do. Uh, literally a matter of hours before we got the, uh, the approval. Any of my dealings with any of the Elder Life uh, representatives, I haven't found once where there's um, been anybody hedged a bet, so to speak, uh, said something that wasn't absolutely the way it is. Elder Life has so many other benefits with using the extended family. You know, residents will say to us flat out, I don't want to be a burden to my family. And in essence, what Elder Life does is it provides a solution for the family where a resident won't be a burden. We take a family that's in a crisis situation and we make this manageable. I wanted to be able to sleep at night, so I wanted to make sure that she was somewhere safe, nice, the staff was nice, um, the support. Elder Life was able to make that possible for her to stay in a facility where I wanted her to be. What I instruct my marketing directors is, is it's not up to you to make that decision on whether this family would benefit through Elder Life Services, but to bring it up to each and every family, to share it with them as an option for them, and really let them make their own personal decision. Families, a lot of times, don't have the time to do the requisite um, search to find out the best options that they have. And so anytime knowledgeable um, staff members uh, volunteer information, you have to recognize the fact that yes, you might be telling somebody a, a, about a program that might not help them, but it might help them. And leave it to the individual families and family members to determine what's best for them. It's not all about finances, it's really about emotions. And that's what we try to have families understand, that we understand what they're going through. We understand the emotional side of, of moving a family into assisted living. Mm -hmm.